So, Faith, have you ever seeked out any information or advice from a nutritionist before? No, I haven't. Okay. And do you know what or how a nutritionist can help you? Not really, no. Pretty limited in my information. <laughs> So basically, you're just looking for any any help at this point and hoping for some relief. I'm yeah, looking for something that I will work that I can actually follow through on. Understandable. So. Well, the difference between nutritionist is we could actually look at all aspects of life. So we take into account not only the food that you eat, but how you're sleeping, how what exercise and activity. So kind of looking at the full spectrum of life and not kind of carving out and looking at one window. Okay. And the difference between like a certified nutritionist and someone that's just doing like health coaching mm -hmm. is they can have all different types of degrees and certification. So for me with the food and nutrition degree and I've got advanced educations with Czech Institute on really like particular lifestyle and health aid conditions. And what I believe is that not all people digest and use food the same. Okay. So I really like to seek out as much information from my clients so that I can make it personalized and specific to you when I'm making recommendations. Okay. You will find that if you've gotten from any other advice from practitioners of any sort, there'll be some common things that cross over. But it will be really important for you to divulge as much information to me about your lifestyle so that I can write up and help you with the right protocols to ensure your success. Yeast can actually overgrow and cross blood barrier walls. So mm -hmm. a lot of times it'll start in lungs or the vaginal canal, but through a period of time it actually affects all of our connective tissue, mm -hmm. which then again affects our organs long term. And then from there there's a lot of oncologists, there's actually five that have written books about it, uh -huh. how it could actually even over time cause the growth of, of tumors. Oh, wow. So affecting cancer. Right. There's also huge studies out there how it affects like ADHD, mm -hmm. ADD, um, you know, I mean, there's so many other things. So it's really important that you've been plagued with these conditions for a number of years and it will take some discipline of yours mm -hmm. um, in order to, to get it curtailed. Okay. Right?